Right, we're up again on the reds. And just to let you comprehend the size of these animals, they're, they're just massive. Uh, this is a massive big red stag. And I'm with Dan Friday here and we spoke on the way up. And as Dan has a 243, which um, I personally don't recommend for such large bodied animals. And Dan will attest to this himself. Uh, the first shot knocked him. He got back up. The second shot knocked him. And when we got to him, he was still trying to get up. And it took a top third and final headshot to kill him. So that was two shots with the 243. But as you can see, just the overall size of these animals. It's just massive, you're talking. This one is a, well, like even his neck is, is just a massive beast, a massive beast. And a perfect test for the Paddy Smith Stumpy pro hunter, pro stalker. So where we are, there's only one way of dealing with this carcass and that, that is not gonna come out in one piece. So we're gonna section them up. So we're gonna start the Grolic first. There we have a good bleed. A good flow there. Just as far as the vice box. Even the size of the windpipe and vice box compared to Valor or Sika, there's, no, there's just there's no comparison with these animals. They're th they're that big, and that's no. pull that through too handy so what I do in here is I'm cutting around into the into the chest cavity then we'll come back up here we'll hold back that leg there and that and we need to get in so I'll remove the testes first Now we're in on the body cavity. Just spill all the green offal out and then just go on one side of the diaphragm right down to the back. inside and we grab the top part there we go all out no bother at all oh we have everything out oh I get my knife and I sever the muscles holding them. 
Oh, that was not a big job. Severin uh, remained in diaphragm. Cover that up top. We'll knock that off. And there, you can even see, and I'm looking inside here at the bullet wound with the 243. Um, it didn't exit and just barely met it into the lungs. With a little bit of lung damage on the top. So, as I said, I'm not running down 243 here. 243 is a good round. But I'm only saying on such large bodied animals, it can be quite, quite difficult. So, there we have a uh, brolic. Uh, even the head. What I'm doing here is just making myself a grip to pull. There I've hit the, the axle joint. As I said, compared to our fellow and that these boys are definitely more work. And we're in an awkward spot to be doing this. There we have the head off. You can see there even the size of the head. Massive, massive animal. Okay, and the next video we'll be doing sectioning.